Vermont is full of interesting people, and one of them has found herself in the spotlight lately. Our Alyssa Borden joins us live in studio to tell us about Jan Reynolds. Alyssa. Kat, Jan Reynolds is a woman who has countless stories and life lessons to share. She's a record-setting athlete, a storyteller, a photographer, and she's achieved remarkable things throughout her life. Something she says began at a time when it was hard for women to get recognition for their accomplishments. Pushing gender roles aside, Reynolds has used her adventures around the world to share bigger stories with everyone. Jan Reynolds is many things, but perhaps the best word to describe her is fascinating. So we're all remarkable. It just depends on how we test ourselves. This Stowe resident wears many hats. She's a record-setting explorer, skier, biathlete, photographer, storyteller, author. Trying to run through a list of activities is kind of futile because in a sense, you know, I'm the eternal beginner. I'm forever throwing myself into things to see if uh, I'll measure up. One of her most recent triumphs, induction into the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Hall of Fame, seems fitting for a woman who has climbed and skied all of the peaks surrounding Mount Everest twice. And if skiing it isn't enough, she's also hot air ballooned over it. I got a phone call and I heard this, good eye, mate, you want to balloon over Everest? A film crew setting out to float over the highest peak in the world realized they needed a very specific addition to the basket. We need an American climber who's intimately familiar with Everest, all sides, and a woman. And they just laughed like, it doesn't exist. That climber was Reynolds. It's kind of hilarious when we're crashing because we're all mic'd up. And you can hear I'm telling them, we're fine, we're going to make it. But no matter the flavor of the adventure, she's doing it to collect stories. I am a writer and a photographer, and those were all the places I went to get my story. Reynolds is seemingly most proud of her work as an author. She's written and published over 20 books, nonfiction and children's books, all of them about indigenous people she's come to know on her treks. And I fell in love with all these indigenous people that I found in the nooks and the crannies of the planet when I would climb and ski something and end up setting a record. Her goal, she says, is to show children and adults that we're all one big human family, that we need to be good to each other and the planet. But it just so happens Reynolds has had a whirlwind of adventures while trying to do it. None of us get out of here alive, so have a good time while you're here. Reynolds says she's currently working on a book about the Bajau people of the Indonesian region. She says they live much of their life underwater, up to 13 minutes at a time. So Reynolds had to get scuba certified just to take their pictures. With no extreme adventures on the books right now, she does say she's hoping to spend more time with the Bajau in the future. Kat? Alyssa, thank you.